Hundreds of picklers fill the courts at the pickleball open in Newport Beach, California. Among them are Mark Yoshizu and Mary Whithands. The sport is really addicting. It's crazy how many people are playing. Data from the Sports and Fitness Industry Association says the number of recreational players has soared from 3.5 million in 2019 to nearly 9 million in 2022. But the love of the sport can also come with pain. I strained my knee, but um, but it didn't stop me. This year, medical costs related to pickleball injuries will climb to $377 million. Roughly 80% or $302 million will be players heading to emergency rooms and doctor's offices for outpatient treatment. We've got wrist sprains and strains. We've got um, tendinopathies of the elbow. Um, we've got rotator cuff injuries of the shoulder. Dr. Jonathan Sum is an associate professor of clinical physical therapy at the University of Southern California. He says more serious injuries could mean surgery. We could be looking at, you know, thirty, forty, fifty thousand um, dollars really maybe just in the surgery alone. To protect your body and your bank account, he recommends players consult with a doctor before stepping on the court. My PT said, you, you know, you need to stretch and, you know, she gave me some exercises and I haven't stopped since. Because missing a day of pickleball is not an option. Donya Backus, CBS News, Newport Beach, California.